I had this great idea of turning magnetic paint into a permanent magnet. Now, magnetic paint is, is a real thing. If you don't believe me, do an internet search on it. You can paint your wall, stick permanent magnets to it, the same way you would to, say, the, the door of a refrigerator. I would pour the magnetic paint into a six-foot-long aluminum U-shaped frame. The pink stuff is modeling clay I used as end plugs. Once the paint dried, I would have a solid block of magnetic material half an inch high and half an inch wide and six feet long. Then I planned to turn the dried block into a permanent magnet. I would then make several of these six foot long magnets and use them to help build a great magnetic invention I had an idea for. I made a short six inch long test section. Once the paint dried, it was stuck like glue inside the aluminum frame. However, the aluminum is not magnetic, so this was not really a problem. The dried magnetic paint block was a magnetic material, but I could not turn it into a permanent magnet. I first tried to magnetize the dried block with a strong rare earth magnet. I tried for several minutes, but for the camera, I did it only for a few seconds. I tried both methods of moving the permanent magnet over the dried block. Moving the magnet over the full length of the material or moving the magnet in two separate sections. Neither method worked. Then I tried using a strong electromagnetic coil. I tried this also for several minutes. But this did not work either. My experiments were a total failure. I could not turn the dried magnetic paint into a permanent magnet. That meant I could not make six foot long magnets and I could not build my great magnetic invention.